Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Source Snack Break. I'm Brittany McLean. I'm the Director of Membership at Source, and I am joined by Megan from Loom today. Welcome, Megan. Hi, thanks. It's actually Megan, Megan. and I didn't get to tell you that. It's okay, (laughs) Brittany. Don't worry. It it happens all the time. So now you all know I'm Megan. I'm Megan Settlemeyer with Loom Textiles. Uh, I'm the local rep located in Seattle, Washington and really appreciate the partnership with Source to be the hands and feet on the ground when I can't be there. So thank you for having me today. Of course, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And for those and- of you who haven't joined before, just so you know, um, you're muted automatically, but you can use the chat box um, that you'll see on the right side of your screen there. Um, we'd love for you to ask any questions that you, we have as we go through the presentation today. Tell us what you like. Um, any Anything that comes up, feel free to use that and we'll um, keep an eye on that as we go through the presentation and um, I'll read those off and um, hopefully get those questions answered. Um, and then also if you needed to step away at any point, a recording of this will be sent automatically afterwards. So if you want to share it with a friend or reference it later, um, you will have that as well. So with that, um, can you, do, should we get started? You want to tell us a yeah. little bit about what we're going to be talking about today? And- yeah, we're going to, um, so I'm just going to share with you our latest collection called Outdoor In, and it's designed by Suzanne Tick, who is our design director for all of Loom Textiles. Um, And she is kind enough to create videos for us for each collection. And it's always nice to hear from the design director herself, the inspiration behind it. And videos are just a really great way to see the texture and color. I mean, not always 100% accurate on the color, but it just gives you something. I mean, materials are so challenging to see, as you guys know, virtually. But these videos really kind of give you a sense of what the collection is. So with that, I'm just going to go ahead and let Brittany play this video for you guys. And we did did a little testing. on the front end and we noticed a little bit of an echo so please let us know in the chat if it becomes echoey because we have two ways to play the video so um if you guys are hearing a bad echo when we start it please let us know and we'll we'll switch and try it try it the other way but i'm going to go ahead and hit play and we'll keep our fingers crossed fingers crossed just fine so let's see some outdoor in Hi, I'm Suzanne Hi, Tick. I'm here Suzanne to talk Tick. about our September 2021 launch for Loom called Outdoor In. I'd also like to talk about our design approach, which we call the unified field. In this collection, we're going to be talking about our renewed relationship with nature. Most fabrics that we use today are only tested to 40 hours, but UV resistant fibers are tested to a minimum of 1200 hours and incorporate in performance throughout the collection from upholstery to vertical. Everything in this collection is bleach cleanable and allows us to design more intelligently to accommodate the new shifting environments and hybrid working experiences that will persist after we return to the office. So we ultimately had to change the way we thought about design and come up with products that had the characteristics for this new hybrid working environment, whether you're working virtually or in an office environment. So every fabric that we work on has to have UV protection or has to have some high performance characteristics. Two of the products in this collection have UV resistant fibers, Wavefield and Megapixel. We created Wavefield in a Tick Studio brainstorming session while we were developing architectural glass collection. We took this glass and we put it over the patterns that we were developing and as we evolved these patterns and the visual distortion of the patterns underneath really created an experience that we wanted to share. Between the geometry and the organic pattern it created something even more beautiful than what we had intended. So we felt that the pattern appropriately represented this new shifting landscape as we navigate public and private spaces in the future. We used UV resistant heathered fibers that have recycled content and 1200 hours of light fastness. So we wanted to ensure that this pattern, which mimics a feeling and movement of water, could be used indoor or outdoor with ease. Megapixel is Loom's first indoor outdoor chenille product, which started on the Tick Studio Loom. And we 
went through a series of product developments on this one where we started with solid filling yarns and then we did two color filling yarns and then we ended up with three color filling yarns, which is actually what we ended up really liking. Megapixel has this beautiful, chunky tactile surface and its handmade sensibility brings tactility and luxury to indoor and outdoor spaces, especially those with UV resistance requirements. These UV resistant fibers have 2,000 hours of light fastness to ensure that we could bring in softness and performance in indoor, outdoor settings. Part of the experience with designing textiles is we apply them to furniture, both vertical applications and upholstery applications. And this was really, really important in this multi-purpose area that we've been working in. So with Twisted Tweed, we not only developed the yarn and the twist level, it's a proprietary yarn palette that we've created. This is a great example of starting with fiber to finish. We start here, we create the palette, we take that palette, we work on a weave blanket to create structure, and then from the structure, we create the ultimate palette that we end up with. Graticule is Loom's first coated direct glue wall covering. It features a polyester woven ground and an olefin coating. Its pattern, a multicolor pixelation effect, clusters against a solid background, alluding to the digital landscape through a slub-like jacquard. Graticule's coating makes it wipeable and smooth to the touch, combing the aesthetic of a woven wall covering with a high performance characteristic of matte finished coated fabric to create a fused vertical fabric. The unified field is really an extension of our design process. After we completed our color wall, we looked at the many years that we've been working with Loom and decided that anything that we were gonna create moving forward, whether it was a pattern, colors, new textures, qualities with luster or matte finishes. It had to be a part and extend from the collection that existed. So the unified field is really a composite. And as we move forward, everything that we put in the line will be an extension. It will reach back to what we've done in the past and it'll extend the collection to the future. Our goal is to provide you with a complete textile solution so everything that you select from upholstery fabric to wall coverings all work together. As we adapt and embrace this changing world, we realize that we have to create as innovative products as possible with the lightest footprint possible. If you have any questions, please reach out to your Loom reps and visit loomtextiles.com to order samples anytime. Love that. That's awesome. And I muted you. So let me turn. Perfect. Yay. I know. So that's just kind of a nice overview of the collection and kind of Loom as a whole and how it's really a great kind of cohesive collection that's really got a lot of thought behind having everything work together so that you're not picking this red from one collection and not being able to find anything else that works with it and that we really really are cognizant of, tr of getting things to work together as a whole, which I appreciate. That is super um, nice. Yeah. yeah. Anybody have any questions on the collection? Let's see if anything comes in. No, we're good. Nothing yet. Yeah. Okay. I know you had one other video for, uh, for us. Did you want to um, talk about that or do you think yeah, um, you know, um, and then just so you guys know, I mean, as far as ordering memo samples, this video also, it, Loom Textiles has a uh, YouTube channel, just so you guys are aware. And within that YouTube channel, this video is available if you want to go back and check it out. And then also a lot of other videos. I mean, there's a series that she did that was TikToks, and it's more 
uh, based on meditation and some interesting things um, that can just be inspirational. She also does a how to weave at home project. It's a little 14 minute video that's super fun. I did it with my nine year old son Aww. when we first started at the beginning of the pandemic. And you literally just need like an Amazon box, some pins, some rope. You go through, you find some scraps and it turns out beautiful. So it's kind of a super fun, creative way to do something at home. I love that. Yeah, it's yeah, nice so you can videos do help you to kind of see the the texture and just like yeah, and just more just know even how it's made. Um, Suzanne Tick and her team within the studio are all weavers, and so they spend time on the loom every day, um, trying to see how products come out. So weaving really is at the heart of this line, and so it's just really nice to share that with everyone when we can. Um, but yeah, I think with that, um, why don't we check out? So also this year we came out with two biodegradable, fully biodegradable textiles. Uh, we are the first ones in the marketplace, I believe, that um, have a fully biodegradable textile. So Suzanne was nice enough to create a short little video on that and what that means. So I'll let you go ahead and share that. Brittany. Sounds good. And I think the secret was if we're both muted when we play, then that's what got rid of the then echo. It, then it got the echo away. There we go. Now we know off and we'll, we'll get that rolling. I'm excited to see it. Climate change and the environment is becoming more and more a concern, not only at the industry level, but also at the supplier level. Despite there being a major rise in single-use plastics in our oceans and textile waste in our landfills, we've seen nature take over the conversation. Between things like the course correction we saw in nature in Venice in 2020, where the canal water was so clear you could see fish in it, to the very recent discovery of complex but prehistoric deloid rotifer creatures living in permafrost, we know that nature's design is something we need to honor and work with, not against. According to the EPA, in the U.S. alone, 55 million pounds of synthetic textiles are sent to the landfill every day. We're proud to be a part of the solution to this problem and the first textile company to launch two recycled biodegradable polyester textiles in 2021. One called GridState and the other Ecotone. After seeking out this technology and working with manufacturers we trust, we found that we could really work with these fibers to create two very different but beautiful performance products that are built to last and leave behind no footprint on the earth. The recycled polyester fibers have a biodegradable additive technology at the extrusion level, which allows the polyester to break down under anaerobic conditions such as a landfill. When you look at Ecotone and Grid State, you can see how we design them to complement the chroma in each style. Because they are both multi-purpose, this expands the possibilities for how color and pattern can be used through the surfaces of a space using a sustainable product that is extremely well-priced, both as upholstery fabric or wrapped wall materials. Ecotone is $37 a yard and Grid State is $42 a yard. All right. There we go. So there we go. So there's uh, two new things that I got to share with you guys, a collection, and I'm really excited about the biodegradable products. We're going to continue to add those um, type of products as we continue on with each collection. Um, so it's just really nice to see that, that we have some something out there that's going to leave the earth at some point and not leave any footprint behind. So. Absolutely. That is super cool. Yeah, I love I love that. Um, we did have one question that came in. Um, Nathan is curious if Loom offers any AIA, HSW, or LU presentations. Um, it's, it's not through Loom itself, but Suzanne Tick does do quite a few CEU presentations. So if you want to reach out to me, I can absolutely get you or through source or however, and we can connect you with the presentations that are available. But yes, there, there are many that she has. 
So Sounds good. Yeah, I will. I'll send you Nathan's contact information so you can follow up on that. And if anybody else is interested as well. So um, we also had somebody uh, asking about uh, Sarah was wondering if anybody either on the line or that you worked with Megan um, has used the biodegradable line towards lead points towards lead points. Yeah, you absolutely could use it towards lead points. We have someone um, working on it right now with Echotone on a project um, for uh, wrap panels. So yes, absolutely, it could count towards lead points. Perfect, that's great. Any other questions, feel free to drop them in. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm excited um, to have an update on that and see the new yeah new stuff and I'm definitely going to check out the YouTube video as well and um, certainly if you um, are looking for samples you can order them through source you can also find um, Megan's contact information there or any of your local um, loom reps so you can log in and find out who is in your area and um, yeah. we, can, we can definitely help you out with We're that. here to help you out so yeah for sure okay. and then um, our Loom website as well is pretty good the first thing when you open up the Loom textiles website page will always have the right there front and center the latest and greatest collection so we make it really easy to find what's new um, and we also put the videos and those things in there as well so we try to make it easy for you guys to check out what's new and exciting in Loom. Perfect. I love it. Well, I don't see any more questions that have come okay. in, but um, with that, it was so nice to have an update. And for all yeah. of you who normally join us, we'll be taking the week off next week um, for Thanksgiving. Oh, actually, I did one more question from Sarah. Um, it says, can the loom textiles be used both on interior and exterior? Uh, the, the indoor outdoor product, yes, but otherwise, no. So the two new ones that just came out, the Wave Field and the Metapixel, those two products are indoor outdoor. And then we have two others that are on the line that are indoor outdoor, but unless they're specifically indoor outdoor, then they cannot be used in the exterior. Perfect. Excellent. Good. Well, this was so fun and I really appreciated your time. I hope everybody has a great rest of your afternoon. Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Yeah. And Chloe, if you, I saw that you said you joined a little late, you'll get a copy of this recording um, after it's done. So you can go back and, and watch the full thing and uh, get caught up or share it with a friend. So, yeah, and for those of you that are in Portland, I will be at the source event tomorrow afternoon, little trade show. So if you want to come check it out live and touch and feel for sure, stop by. Hi. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, we're going to be at uh, the Floor Solutions on Front Avenue. So if you're in the Portland area, we'd love to see you. And everybody else, we will um, hopefully be in town, one of your places soon. So, <laughs> yep. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Sounds good. Bye, all. Bye. Thank you. Bye,